Okay, by the way, just in case you didn't know, this is branding. Let me make sure it's properly branded. I, I think they get it by now, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but check it yeah. out, Rick, man. I, I know you've been at this for a minute, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and, if, and, and if they don't know who Rick is, listen, man, um, they've been under a rock. But um, uh, let, let's, 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 let's do a little backdrop now. It was a little backdrop as to who Rick is. I like to, I just like to let my work speak for itself. Yeah. Um, really, I, I paved my way. You're talking about over a decade of music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess you could say I'm a senior now. I'm mm -hmm. a, I'm a veteran now. Veteran. <laughs> veteran. In Bahamian years. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been around for a while, man. Uh, a lot of people. I just really started to 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 tap more into my artistry. As a solo artist, as you know, because everybody know me on the big stage with Bahamian. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't have to get into all of that because you all know my history with that. But I started to get more and more into my my artistry. Um, like I would say maybe 2010. Um, mm -hmm. And 2010, I dropped my. It was not my first time on the airwaves as an artist, but I think I really tapped into it more for since 2010. And mm -hmm. Every year, you know, I've got so much love from the community, the artist community, the uh, I just I'm just doing business with companies and, you know, doing commercials and whatnot. So it started I started to get more and more work and started to tap more and more into my craftsmanship in terms of the, the music and being a writer and a producer, mm -hmm. um, the triple threat, so to speak. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, I just started to get more and more into it, man. And then it led me to here. You know, because you know? I, I was just about uh, to ask. 11 years later. Yeah, because yeah. I was just about to ask. You, you've, you've worked on quite a bit of material with a number of artists. Uh, yeah. A lot of artists um, behind the scenes producing, writing, and so mm -hmm. forth, right? And how, what's that What's that work to date been like working with numerous different artists, you know, being a writer uh, as well as producer and artist? Give us a little insight on that, man. Well, I mean, you know, it, 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 it just comes naturally for me um, because I think I, we, we have several conversations and several interviews that I always tell people that, you know, I was always the behind the scenes guy, mm -hmm. but it just so happens that I have to have a knack for being on the stage. So when people ask questions that if, if, if I should, you know, if I could compare the two, I, I really can't. I love both of them. I really love to create. I love to create. I love to 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 feel the vibe of the final product on the stage, the energy from the crowd, um, you know, hearing their responses and you know whether whether even if it's if it's not so positive, you know, it all helps you to grow at the end of the day and get mm -hmm. better and better. Yeah. So I got a lot of pairs who say like, how do you? How do you retard this process because so many people don't survive this industry and you know and, and i just try to keep myself um contained and just always be in my it might not be a bad thing because some people think being in your own head space is a bad thing but guess what that's how a lot of people get that good mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, yeah you, know, you sometimes have to kind of like separate yourself from everybody else around you and just try to just focus on your craft and what you're bringing to the table and try to perfect that as much as possible mm -hmm. um you know i never went to school or anything like that to learn anything about being producer or or to, to learn how to mix and all of that stuff it just came with tricks of the trade and asking questions and practicality mainly practice mainly practice it's, yeah that's the key thing right there it, man it is 90 percent practice getting the right equipment and just asking a ton of questions and researching and trying this and that out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of, I kind of had a lot of blessings because I was able to travel with Bahamian and receive a lot of that, that positive energy from international producers and engineers and artists and writers and all kinds right. of people, along with what I was learning right here in the 242. Mm -hmm. Don't take it for granted, but like, we, we got it going on. Yeah, we got some major talent, man. We yeah, got some we, major we have, talent. We, have, we do have major talent. We do have persons who actually went to school and studied this stuff and come back to upgrade the, the industry, mm -hmm. so to speak, you know? And they're um, putting in that work? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's a ton of people. It's a ton of people. So, Rick, um, now, you you you, you have, you, you have a, and you got to get what I'm saying now, you have a whole lot of children. And what I mean is brain children. <laughs> 
Okay, let's get it right. <laughs> right? So what's it what's it feel like when you see, be it something something you wrote, something you 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 actually um uh, produced or maybe well, an or, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, you're saying. what does it feel like when you see the response of uh of a person's reacting to your material, man? To your babies. Bro, I'll be honest with you, it's it's gratifying. Um because and this is why I try to like give credit to people when it's due as much as possible because it's so easy to be like, you know, it's as simple as being a guitarist or or or, mm -hmm. or a bassist or somebody who played the tum tum on your tracks. So if if you know, they don't go. Nobody recognizes that, but it's up to persons to emphasize that to bring that energy out so you can make yeah. sure that hey. Uh, this person played on this, this track and, you know, oh, you know, but boy, I didn't realize that, you know, so sometimes it's, it's, I like to try to, to, to give people who I work with the credit while, especially while they hot too. And I like to let them shine. I like to see them shine because that's yeah. how you upgrade the whole industry and everything, everything happens with evolution and evolution is like, it's constantly growing. So I just feel it, that that all I'm doing is just contributing at the same, mm -hmm. at the same time, you know? And you know what happens on top of that, Rick? I, I interview a lot of music artists. And you know whose name's called uh, normally in that loop? <laughs> Rick Ooh. Carey. You know what I'm saying? I hear Rick Carey in a lot of loops uh, behind the scenes. And, yeah. uh, you know, and, and it goes to show that, you know, as a, as a music artist, producer, uh, co writer, co-writer, you're, you're, not, you're not selfish with your talent. You not know, at all. It, 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 you, uh, you try your best to assist as many as possibly can because it, it, you know it's not owned by any one person so you want everybody to to do what yeah. they can to shine yeah. that's how you that's how you that's how you change the industry bro mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like you got to move you got to move you're still business at the end of the day too but it's it's a way how to do things man like some people they take a lot of things for granted man Mm -hmm. you know, a yeah. lot of, we, we put a lot of work into this stuff, man, in order to get it like very intricate detail. Yeah, I'm, I could probably get into some nerdy stuff right now, but I ain't going to get into all that. But it's just a lot that persons do to perfect their craft. You know, you might not be the best. Uh, you might not be the best producer, but you can aid to the production by bringing your talents in terms of a musician. Yeah. Yeah, and led to the process. Happening a lot of these people is be doing these tracks and shout out to all the producers out there that paving the way. You know what I'm saying? In their yeah. own, in their own right, they doing this stuff, and it's it's an industry. That's how you create the industry and keep it going for other musicians and artists and writers. You know, um, and we we can't just keep it so centralized too because a lot of people feel like you know, I thought I have some pairs. I, um, I have some pairs in the family islands. And they'd be like, everything's so Nassau-centric and, you know, but shout out to all the artists out there who actually, you know, come down here and, and work with other producers and try to keep it going. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And that's how you spread it around. Yeah. And, and you know, speak, speaking of this, right, because I wanted to give a little backdrop. That's why we were talking about all of this information, because it all leads to what's about to go down. Show you music. Absolutely. All right? I spoke to that's Wendy yeah. and uh, Javan on Monday. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let me know the role that you play in the whole show you music Listen, uh, series that's about to go down. That I feel I, I'm just like I said, I am just part of a network that is all about putting out great work and celebrating the artists uh, and, and those that don't normally would get a shine in all aspects. But I just feel like I am just giving myself and giving my talents and my abilities and my 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 music has brought me you know they they people are going to call me but at the same time it's like I, to move in this network you have to keep it you have to keep it this way because this is where people start to see you even you even more serious about this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah like if you move if you move in like a unit people can take you even more serious mm -hmm. like you can't mess with it um no. you can't mess with it because we move in like a unit we move in together and Absolutely. we put all that, you know, as artists, everybody and behind the scenes. Yeah, some people got differences and stuff like that. But collectively, when you see artists come together uh, and they put all their stuff aside or whatever it is that they're going through personally or they clashing, whatever. 
and then they moving as a unit. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That is very it, powerful. It truly is, man. Yeah. And and this coming Friday is about to go down. The first, the official kickoff of yeah. Show You Music. Now, give us some some details as to what's about to go down. Oh man, I could t all I could tell you is we had a stellar production. Um, you know, there was one in Freeport, and there's also there was also one in Nassau. I don't want to give too much detail because mm -hmm. I want people to be surprised when they watch it on Friday. Mm -hmm. So, um, y'all make sure y'all tune in. And make sure y'all tune in. There's several artists, just just about every major name out there. They're gonna be on that show. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, if you wasn't feeling one artist, you, somebody else is gonna pop up, and you're gonna be like, "Oh man, y'all, y'all really did the thing." Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I mean, I was glad to be a part of it, man. It was awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, shout out to the whole team that put it together. Um, you did a great production, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. But next level, all right? So it's yeah. going to be all live 8 p.m. this coming Friday at the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture Facebook page starting once again this coming Friday. And, of course, you wanna witness, you're you going to witness outstanding popular uh, artists as well as some new artists. And these performances are jaw-dropping, something you definitely, or should I say definitely, you don't want to miss. Wanna miss. Wanna miss it. Some of my favorite artists are on this list. <laughs> all right. And, uh, <laughs> This this on into the new year, 2022. Yeah. So once again, Rick, give them a final word, man. Yo, listen, Bahamas. Y'all stay tuned. It's all about show them, show, show everybody music. Not just show me music, show everybody music. And this is what we're about, man. We're gonna keep on bringing the fire for you. All right. And we're taking 242 to the world as usual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Bam. You got it? Stay lit. You make a hit stage. More throwbacks coming at you. Yep. <laughs>